always been a supportive friend, right? I've always been that friend. Didn't matter what my friends wanted to do, I was there. It's like, oh, we want to go bungee jumping. Uh, I don't know if I want to do that, but guess what? I'm going to stand by your side, friend. I'm going to cheer you on because I know this is what you want, and I know what it feels like to want to do something and know that within your social circle or within your crowd of people you are the only one that want to do it and trying to find other people to encourage you to step out on faith and do what it is that you want to do can be daunting because at this point you've never had to look in your inside of yourself for that level of validation okay and it can be overwhelming and so for me because i knew how how much that felt like for me i would i have always been that person that is supportive of other people so then when it came time for me to be like you know what let's express ourselves the way that we choose to okay let's be the version of me that makes me feel amazing and loved and genuinely happy you know where i feel like i belong into this right and that's so many things right that's too many things like we are the universe we all come from the same place we're all going to the same place we all represent the same thing just in different pieces and so it's like this is supposed to be represented but that's another story what i want to say is once i started being me it was daunting at first because i could think about what other people would say and how they would classify it and that was I got to be able to have a something to say to them when they say this and I, my mind was went into this anxiety of trying to figure out what, what I would say or do in a situation if this happened and that's not a good path to go down because that's negativity once I have learned to extract myself from that and it's funny because I do that by coming to the beach, especially in the morning <laughs> when the sun is coming up because it's such a reminder of, of how beautiful life is and how beautiful the day is and how beautiful we are just to be here in whatever form that we're here, right? But once I learn how to extract myself from these negative thoughts of what I would do if this situation brought itself to me, it felt very liberating because I realized that was the only thing that was keeping me from being myself and that was me. It wasn't the people around me, it was me. So once I freed myself from that me, because that me isn't me, that me is a representation of the world as it was presented to me in hopes of being able to make me into what their expectations are, which will never be met. Because I was made in the image of the universe and the universe decides, okay? And the way that I know that the universe decides is because I feel it within my spirit. Okay. So once I begin to feel the universe within my spirit enough to say, I, this is me, you know, and whatever everybody has to say really doesn't matter. The only person holding me back was me in the first place. So now me is not holding me back. Okay. And me loves it. Me comes to the beach. Me, me does so many things, makes videos, blah, 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 blah. But recently, because I decided to step out, me is so happy for those people like me that are afraid to be like me because they're going through the same thing. And I know what that felt like because I just came out of it. So now me being me has a fire because the supportive friend that I've always been now in supporting myself I'm supporting everybody else like me that's afraid to do it because they need to see somebody doing it. So friend, come on, I'm here.